Hey everyone, welcome to Ito Yoma 16. On our today's lesson, I'm going to explain how we are going to solve such certain complex quality problems. So, if you look at this problem, if you look at these questions, these questions seem to be a more complex cases, but there is a simple method how we are going to solve this problem in general mean. So, if you are a new member of my YouTube channel, please subscribe, like and share Ethioma 16 to have a successive videos that continue this one and other videos that I have already uploaded. So today, now let me show you how we are going to solve this complex quality problem. How we are going to do this problem. So in order to find the solution of all these, we're going to use a complex, uh, I mean a factorization method. Is that in order to solve this problem, I'm going to show you how factorization is really important to solve all this problem in general. So look, the first question. So give your attention, how we are going to do this problem, is that? So on the first problem, in order to solve this question, what, we, what method have been used to solve this problem? Now look, first of all, in order to find such a problem, we need to find two numbers whose sum is exactly the coefficient of the middle term, that means, let's find two numbers, P and Q, whose sum is exactly the coefficient of X, that's negative 4. And let's find another two numbers, that means, uh, let's find same two number P and Q, whose product is, that is exactly AC, AC means this one, is that? We need to find two numbers whose sum is exactly the coefficient of the middle term that is negative 4 and the product of the z number has to be 4. Then, what are the numbers that give the sum of these is exactly this and the product is 4? What are the numbers? I think this is very simple. So the numbers are generally negative 2 and negative 2. So if you add negative 2 plus negative 2, that's negative 4. And if you find the product of negative 2 times negative 2, that's absolutely 4. Then, what will be the solution of this equation in general? Therefore, once you got this number, whose sum is this and whose product is this one, what you're going to do, the next procedure. The next procedure has to be take the opposite of this one. So, what are the opposite of this value? That is 2 and 2. That opposite of these numbers are 2 and 2. Then the real solution of this problem is going to be real solution of then, then the solution or real solution, real solutions, real solutions are simply what? 2 divided by 4 or 2 divided by 4. That means you know that you have to know, sorry, <clears throat> you have to know the reason why we are selecting of dividing this for four. That means always in the case of this problem, in order to find the real solution of this problem, what you're going to do? Once you already have this problem, you have to take the opposite of this one and you have to divide this value for the coefficient of the leading term. So what's the coefficient of the leading term? The coefficient of the leading term is exactly four, so two divided by four or two divided by four. That is the same value, so this implies that x is equal to one over two is the solution is that so this is the solution of this problem that means this is the only real solution that will satisfy this quality equation this is the way how to find a solution of this problem so generally whenever you are interested to solve this problem what you're going to look what you're going to do you have to be careful so the first point the first case you have to find the sum of two numbers in the coefficient of the middle term and the product of this number has to be the coffee, the, the product of A, C, A mean the coefficient of the leading term, C mean the constant term, then immediately you can get what's the solution of this problem as the like this way in general. This is very simple, is that? So now this is the second problem, this one. How are we going to do this complex quadratic problem? So as you see, this is a complex quadratic problem. So to solve this complex quadratic problem, first of all, let's write or let's describe this as a quadratic form, so that is x raised to 5, the whole square minus 31 x raised to 5 minus 1, which is going to be 0. So in the case of this problem, if the coefficient of one variable is, 
a multiple of the I mean if the exponent of one variable is a multiple of another exponent of the variable then it has to be done based on a quality case so now let's change this problem in the form of this one this means this one then what you do then this is the second step to solve this problem so let's recall let's let's take a is gonna be x raised to 5 then if we already taken x is a is x raised to 5 then this problem is gonna be this is exactly 32 a square minus 31 a minus 1 which is going to be 0 that now in order to find the solution the absolute solution of this problem you can immediately follow what i have done here then let's find two numbers whose same is absolutely absolutely the coefficient of the middle term that's negative 31 and whose product is that's exactly 32 so what are the numbers uh, i mean that is negative 32 is that then we need to find the sum of two numbers is exactly this one and the product of the number is exactly these products that means 32 times negative 1 will be negative 32 so what are the numbers that give the sum of this number is exactly this one and the product is negative 32 so the numbers are automatically what that is negative 32 and 1 if you find the sum of this number what is the sum of this number the sum of this number is exactly negative 31 and the product of this number is exactly negative 32 then let's take the direct opposite of this number what are the opposite of this one the opposite for this is 32 and the opposite for this is 1 then how we are going to determine the value for a so this implies that a will be what 32 divided by 32 or a will be 1 divided by 32 this is the value for a that this is the value for a then now let us come back to the previous question that is that is this one the value for a is going to be this is this implies that a is going to be one or a is that is one over 32 then if a is one or a this one what will what will be x this implies that you, we need to find x raised to 5 is 1 or x raised to 5 is 1 over 32 then this means that directly we can solve this problem x will be what x is the fifth root of 1 or x is exactly the fifth root of 1 over 32 and this is immediately immediately that is 1 and this will be this will be the fifth root of 1 x will be 1 or x will be 1 over 2 that this is the way how to solve look the first complex problem you know that you know how it is very challenging to solve a higher degree polynomial because this is a degree same polynomial degree same polynomial the degree of the variable i mean the degree of the polynomial is same so there is a very simple way to find a solution of such a problem this is how to how we are going to find the solution of this one let's come to a second problem when you come to the second problem let's see how we are going to solve second problem now second problem is this one let's see the second problem is x over x raised to 6 plus 7 over x cubed that is one so how we are going to solve this problem now in order to find the solution of this problem the first point or the first method has to be what we need to just we need to multiply both sides by this one that means x raised to 6 into h over x raised to 6 plus 7 over x raised 3 plus is equal to 1 this one so when you multiply all these with this one now we have this only 8 plus we have left 7x 3 and which is x raised to 6 then rearranging this problem x raised to 6 minus 7x cubed minus 8 is gonna be 0 then how we are going to solve this one that means in order to find the solution of this problem we need to apply the same technique that I have already shown before that is x will be what x raised to 3 the whole square minus 7x q minus 8 is gonna be 0 then let us use a substitution method to find the real solution of this one 
That means in order to find this formula, let's recall, let A is XQ. Then the equation will be the equation reduced as a square minus 7a minus a that is zero that then the equation is already reduced in the form of quality formula then how we are going to do this is the point zero and one how we are going to solve this problem what should be the solution i think you already know many cases to solve this problem so on the last let's let's see let's see how we are going to find sum of two numbers is negative seven and the product of this number is negative eight. What are the numbers? So the numbers are generally negative eight and one. So let us add this number. What is the sum of negative eight and one? That is negative seven. And the product of this number is exactly one. That's negative. The product of this is negative eight and the sum of this is exactly negative seven. Then what are you going to do? Then this implies that takes the opposite of this one. That is x a, a will be what this a value will be eight or a value will be negative one is that so this is this are the value for a that means whenever because you know that you know that a is this or a is this one because a divide divide the coefficient of the leading sum is going to be what that's very simple because that is already a divide divide this divide divide this is what this is divide by one is already negative one so since the coefficient of the leading sum we need only directly take the opposite of this one if the coefficient of the leading sum is absolutely one we have to simply take the opposite of this will be the real result of this formula is that so now look then what we're going to do how we are going to find the value for x then we have to come back here that means a mean what x cube will be eight Oh, x cube will be negative one. So this implies that x will be the cubes of eight is gonna be two. Oh, uh, x will be negative one. Therefore, the real roots of these problem. Now, the real roots of these problems are simply two and negative one. The solution of this problem will be this one. Means that these are the only values that satisfy this condition. That, you know how how it is very simple. And if you are really serious to attain or to understand much more, I think it's very simple. There is a challenging question, as you see, because there are different cases, there are different ways to solve any complex quadratic or any complex higher degree polynomial in general mean. So this is a very simple way in order to find the solution of this one. So this is the way how to find solution of this problem. Now let's come back to question number four. Then how we are going to do this problem? Look how we are going to solve these problems. What do you look here? I think you can apply the same technique that I have already done here. Is that because you know that here this means that x raised to the whole square minus seven x cube minus eight that is zero. Then let us recall x cube is equal to a. Then this equation will be a square minus 7a minus 8 that is going to be 0. Similarly, you can apply the same technique. That means now we need to find two numbers whose sum is exactly negative 7 and whose product is that's a negative 8 because you have to find the products of this one because the product there is a coefficient of the leading term is always 1. 1 times negative 8 is going to be negative 8. So what are the numbers whose sum is exactly negative 7 and whose product is this one? I think I have done before this, that is negative, negative 8 and 1. Then, similarly, since the coefficient of the leading term is absolutely 1, then this implies that a value is going to be h or a will be that's 1. And then this implies that x cube will be h or x cube will be 1. And x is going to be, I mean, this is negative 1, negative 1, x will be plus 2, or x will be negative 1. You see, this is the way how to solve this problem. Always you have to be careful. I think if you have any question about this lesson, you are welcome. You can write your question under, under the comment, under the comment. Then we're going to solve the problem that you have. Let's come to the final question, how we are going to simplify i mean find the solution of this problem in general 
Let's see how we are going to solve this equation. Then, in order to find the equation of this problem, what makes this is different from the others? Look, now this is exactly 6x minus 17 squares of x plus 5, which is u. Then, in order to find this problem, again, let's replace, let a is also, that is the squares of x. So, this implies that x will be a square, is that? Squaring both sides, squaring both sides, that will be x will be x squared. Then, when you come back to this one, this is 6, 6a square minus 117a plus 5, which is equal to 0. Similarly, let's find two numbers whose same is absolutely negative 17 and whose product is going to be that is this one. What's the product of this one? The product is going to be 13, positive 13. So what are the number? Whose same is this one and whose product is this one? So the numbers are going to be negative 15 or negative 2. These are the number whose same is exactly negative 17 and whose product is 13. Then, then, now look, in order to find the real values of A, what I'm going to do then? Look, you have to be careful. What's the coefficient of the leading term? The coefficient of the leading term is clearly 6. Then we need to divide 6 for this one and this or this one or this divided by this or this divided by this. That should be your coefficient. Let's see how we are going to solve this one. Look, first of all, you have to take the opposite of this problem, that is 15 and 2. That these are direct opposite of this one. Therefore, we need to divide this problem for this one. This implies that a value is going to be 15 over 6, or a value will be 2 over 6. A will be what? That is 3, 3 over 2, or a will be 1 over 3. Then, now let's come to x mean what? x is exactly a square. That? So, this implies that x will be 3 over 2 the whole square or x will be 1 over 3 the whole square. Is that? So, this is exactly x will be 9 over 4 or x will be 1 over 9. You see, you can check how these values are correct or not. That means, once you already got the value for a, what you going to do then? Now, you have to directly plug, you have to plug directly x, a, 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 I mean, ever in place of a. So, x will be this square, mean that 3 over 2 is the whole square, or 1 over 3 is the whole square. So, these are the real roots or solution of this, this problem in general. So, this is all about our today's lesson. Probably, if you have any questions, doubts, suggestions regarding to our videos, you are welcome. Thank you for today. Bye-bye. See you.